Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or maybe ghouls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Expert of Plays Plants vs. Zombies! Oh yeah, the classic itself. I'm your friend. I am your friend, apparently. Well, I am your friend, why the hell not? And your host as always, Thomas 900, aka the expert. And we are gonna get on with some zombie killing action with plants. And as you can see, I literally have not played this. Well, obviously, I've I've played Plants vs. Zombies before. I just haven't played it on here. Now, I'm just going to mess around with the settings a bit, just turn them down a tad. Now, let us start our grand adventure and take out some zombie bastards. Let's do it! <laughs> Popcap Games presents Plants vs Zombies Look at the plants Look at the zombies Look at the pain The fury The passion And I don't know why I got this accent going You will never take our freedom No, no <laughs> Okay, so if you don't know how to play Plants vs Zombies This is how you do it Click on the seed packet to pick it up And click on the grass to plant your seed Simple as that Click on Falling Sun to collect sun, so you can put out more plants. And it's as easy as that. And whatever you do, do not let the zombies reach your house. <coughs> or else they'll kill you. Or they'll just suck your brains out and be all like, ah! Yeah. So we can have some fun with this. This is only the tutorial. For the beginning, so don't expect a lot to happen. And we start off with everyone's favourite plant, the pea shooter. It shoots peas. Oh no, two zombies at the exact same time. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Look at his arms slowly falling off. Yay! And we get the sunflower! Sunlight! Now, if you have any idea where that word, or where that, the way I said it comes from, you're a legend, and I owe you a fiver. So back at my house, got even more zombies this time. Looks like we need to put down some more grass! Sunflowers are ex- Yes, this is a tutorial about sunflowers being extremely important. <laughs> Try to plant three of them. Now, you see, I have a very- now this is obviously the tutorial, so I do what the tutorial says, but I have a very specific way of doing this, which I'll introduce you to later on. So, we have our three sunflowers, and sunflowers will generate sunlight for you. Happy times! <coughs> this is when we take on the zombie hordes. Now this is what I like to do, I always like to have two layers of sunflowers. I either have two layers or two wads of four in either corner. So what I go for, everyone has their own different tactics when it comes to plants versus zombies. That's only my... Some people may agree with my tactics, some people might just say, well that's not cost effective. But it works. It works for me, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's put it that way. Hopefully we can just stream past the rest of these tutorials so we can properly get on with some proper zombie slaying. Look at them peas just smash over the heads of them zombies. This one's- this is probably more the chillaxing side of Plants vs Zombies, but just wait. Later on, it's gonna get heptic. And when I say heptic, oh, do I mean heptic? Let me see which one has more zombies. <coughs> yeah, and I still have a cough, by the way, so I do apologize. Had this cough for a while. That's my custom zombie. He is awesome. I call him Frank. Frank constantly leading the charge. I 
Oh. So that's the end of that, and we get ourselves... Cherry Bomb! The Cherry Bomb! Blows up all zombies in an area. You are gonna love this. The Cherry Bomb is incredibly useful. And I hope to show you here today. As we ready, set, plot. Come on. Yeah, 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 there you go. So, the day of recording this is the 30th of October 2012. Last day of October. And I am actually in the Halloween mood. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm very specific when it comes to Halloween. Sometimes I either get really in the mood and I'm like, Whoa, scary movies! This, that, and the other, and party on down. And then other years I'm just like, Bleh, Halloween, oh fuck, ugh, effort. This year I'm really pumped. I've got, like, I'm, I'm at university with my mates. I've got the Evil Dead movies now, which are fun, fan friggin tastic. If you haven't seen the Evil Dead movies, watch them, they are amazing. And yeah, I'm just generally psyched for Halloween. I hope you, I hope everyone else is. Because I'm feeling in the mood for Halloween. And plus with all the games out of Halloween events, it's friggin nuts. Even Spiral Knights has a Halloween event. Friggin' Spiral Knights! Out of every game I was expecting to have a friggin' Halloween event, I was not expecting mother friggin' Spiral Knights to have a Halloween event. Obviously Team Forces 2 have theirs, and Killing Floor has theirs, which I did a video on by the way, Dem Hillbillies. <laughs> but yeah, generally safe for Halloween. I hope you guys are too, because Halloween really does bring the scary family together. Emphasis on the scary part of the family. Now we haven't used our new cherry bomb yet, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save up and use it right here to show you what it does. That is basically how awesome the cherry bomb is. You have no idea how many times that can save your ass. Incoming Frank! Frank! Kill the Frank! He has a pirate hat, you must kill him! Oh well, Frank's dead. Let's see if the cherry bomb charges up before we're needing to put. well, before we end this. We got two more zombies! One left! Ah. And look! It's the Walnut! See, I told you it was. The Walnut. Blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. Another fantastic friggin' plant. You have no idea. It's my house. In the middle of my street. Well, more like on the end of the street. Okay, ready, set, plant! Now, for this one, I'm gonna show you my alternative tactic to planting my plants. I'm a captain, my captain. No, I'm a planting my plants. I'm a guy. So my second technique is to basically have four up here, four down here. So you have eight overall. Now I want to wait until I get a hundred to put down my first pea shooter. There you go. The zombies will eat your face They'll eat it then have brains And eat it then they'll leave your house in the right tip Right next to your front door <laughs> I can't believe, did I really just make up random lyrics to that? Oh wow Oh wow It is really that late at night Okay, I guess it is, but... Really? <laughs> I was not expecting to do that. Oh, that's good P placement. Placement. Because I always quote my S with an H. To make myself sound like Sean Connery. Yes. Just remember, ladies. 50 no's in a yes. Means yes. 
Oh my. I'm gonna put a walnut there just to keep him distracted whilst we plant more sunflowers. Come on. Sunlight! Uh, pop it down. Let's get ready for it. Our oh, conehead. Come on. Die, you conehead zombie. Die. <laughs> now, some of you might be thinking with this technique. Oi, Domos, you're a friggin' idiot. Why would you put plants in that way, man? You have two spaces left for two more sunflowers. You're a friggin' idiot. Well, there's a reason why you might want to use this tactic. Early, for early on, maybe not. But for later on, yes. Very yes. And you'll see why and what I mean by this later. When we get to it in my Let's Play of Plants vs Zombies. Put him down some more. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I did not mean to put him there. Silly plant. Oh well, I'll put you here. It m gives me an excuse to have a third one in that row. Uh oh. I better put down Mr. Walnut. See, so there you go, we've got a nice series of plants going now. Okay, another pea shoe up there since we haven't got a walnut for it yet. As you can probably tell, the, sta the stages early on, really easy. It's not until later when we start getting crazy. And I'm mean crazy. And I'm talking about Aunt Lewis crazy. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what that was. No idea what that was. It was just like a random hillbilly moment. Huge wave of zombies is approaching! Oh my god! It's Dan Aykroyd! No, no. Really, Dan Aykroyd? There's Frank again! Blow up the flank! Or just blow up everyone in the middle, why not? Plant. Planting all your plants with a shovel. Oh yeah, gotta love that shovel. And it lets you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. Friggin' boss. I have no idea how awesome the shovel is. And, ladies and gentlemen, the single best character in video game history. Our neighbour, Crazy Dave! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, we'll call you Crazy Dave, Crazy Dave. He's Crazy Dave. He's a little bit crazy. You got a surprise for me, Crazy Dave. <laughs> I just love having us. <laughs> First, I need you to clear your lawn. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I will use my shovel to dig up my plants. <laughs> Let the digging begin! <laughs> or commence. Okay, you take the shovel, click a plant, and it's removed. You keep digging. That's how s that's how simple the shovel is. Okay, goody. Oh, what's the surprise? We're going bowling? <laughs> awesome! We're going bowling with walnuts. Yeah, why did you put a walnut in my hand? <laughs> well, at least you're honest, Crazy Dave. Oh, don't worry, Dave. I'll bowl for you. See you, Crazy. Gotta love Crazy Dave. Now, walnut bowling is incredibly simple. You bowl with walnuts! But as you can see, the walnuts can ricochet from one zombie to another. I still have no idea to this day whether their direction is randomised or whether it's supposed to go a certain direction. I have no idea. <coughs> okay, let's just keep going with this. We're doing alright. Now, if any of the zombies get... well... Not necessarily get past the red line, but if any of the zombies obviously get to the edge of a lawn, you do have lawn mowers to take them all down. And look, we have an explodo nut. Look what this does. Boom! I tend to save my explodo nuts just in case, or just if there are enough zombies in a big, a big, uh, big group like that. Really effective. And this isn't the last time we're going to be walnut bowling. Oh no. 
We're gonna be worn up bowling a hell of a lot. Bear that in mind. Now what I'm hoping to do with this LP is to obviously do the main campaign. But then after doing the campaign, depending on how well it goes and have a go depending on how well it goes and depending on how you guys like it or not, and whether you guys want it or not, I will more than happily do the survival maps. Or try to, and the mini games, and heck, even do another playthrough of the storyline campaign with all the plants. I'm not afraid of doing it. Take this, Frank, you bitch! <laughs> so, yes, if you would like to see everything Plants vs. Zombies has to offer, let me know. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Takes two walnuts to take out. Take out a cone head. Hey, Coney! Boom! And speaking of boom, we got ourselves a brand new plant! Ugh. Oh, Mega Man, we got ourselves a new plant problem! Ugh. Yes, we have a potato mine. Potato! It explodes on contact, but does take time to arm itself. <coughs> now, I like the potato mine. It's a bit iffy, but it's a good mine. It's it's just good, okay? It's just good. It's okay. It's, is it good enough for you, Johnny? No, no, it's good. It's just okay, mommy. No, 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 no. No, I'm not going to touch that area. That area is reserved for someone else, and I apologize for bringing it up. No, I'm not bringing it up. But look, you can just plumb one down for 25. It's it's cost efficient for the early stages, at least. For the later stages, you're probably not going to see as much of a potato mine as you would normally, but the potato mine is still awesome. There you go, the potato mine's up and running. And just wait. Plus he looks so cute and adorable down there. Stick at his picky face. And look, he's so happy when he just goes BOOM! Spadow, motherfucker! We just got an achievement! So we're already doing really good. Not complaining. Let me see, I'm gonna start putting down pea shooters along with potato mines. Because what I'm planning on doing here is to obviously have my two lines of sunflowers have my two lines of pea shooters and also have my uh, a line of potato mines and a line of walnuts. Why you might say? Well, it's a very effective system especially for the next zombie that we are going to be introduced to because if you did not see him earlier on we are going to be introduced to a brand new zombie type. Oh, oh, just in time. Spadow! <laughs> Gotta love that spun. Look at that mad, mad collecting. But yes. These are the long jump zombies. That's what I call them anyway. Long jump zombies are annoying because they jump over your plants. However, this is where a combination of a potato mines and walnuts come in handy. Because they can jump over walnuts. But once they jump over walnuts, they'll go straight into a potato mine. So it's all good in the hood. Now I'm just hoping to get my everything set up correctly. Dun, 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 dun. Cone head. Shoot them in the face. Shoot them in the face with peas in your garden. Ah, oh, that could have actually worked if I actually waited for that tone at the end. God damn my singing talents! You go to waste yet again. Curses! I'll get you next time, gadget. Next time. <coughs> Yeah, I could probably do a half decent claw impression, but I don't know, I'm a bit off with my claw. Boom! Take that. Take that! Okay, no. No Phoenix Wright. It's 
bad enough for quoting it, but no, no Phoenix Wright. Being most the right thing to do, no. No. Just gonna put one up there just in case, and we should be fine. Because here's the last one. Go on, eat my walnut. Yeah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And look, we got a new plant. Funky Jazz! We now have the Snow Pea! Shoots frozen peas for damage and slow enemies. So, in other words, it's a glorified pea show with the ability to slow people down. Do not underestimate the power of this plant. That plant is amazing. End of story. It's good. It's good. So what I'm planning on doing now is to have a line of pea shooters, a line of snow peas, a line of potato mines, and a line of walnuts. Why? Because it works. So I'm gonna put that one there. Just so I can get prepared early on. Okay, now I wait for a pea shooter. See, there he is. <laughs> just look at him, he's like a baby face. He's just so happy. You would never see a potato that happy in your life. Unless you go to the supermarket and you probably pick up a wad of happy potatoes. Then I could be completely and utterly mistaken on my feet. Heck, there could be potatoes out there that just stick themselves in the ground and when they come out they're just like oh yay I'm so happy to be out of the ground but nope I haven't seen a single potato that's been happy to see me or my knife when I cut them up I don't know whether I'm treating them wrong or it has something to do with a knife I generally don't know I'm not a potato consultant that's for sure <laughs> that is for certain that would be a crazy job to have though. Hi there, I'm a potato consultant. You are? What would a potato consultant even do? Would he just check on your potatoes to see if they are morally okay and being ethically treated? I don't really understand where that came from, but it sounds like a legit theory to me. Seems legit, just put it that way. Oh no, you don't. Spadow! I'm gonna put that in your face. I'm gonna put a spud behind it just in case. Just in case you get very hungry. Right now I'm very hungry! And if you know what film that's from, and who says it, I'll give you two fivers. So technically I'll be giving you a tenner. Look at him, he is now slowing down, stupid conehead. Suck on my slow. Nah, I'm a making money. Make money, money, make money, money, make money, make money, money, make money, money, make money. Make the money and I put it in my tummy. Gotta give it to ya, cause I got my money. Oh yeah, honey, just drop that money. Cause you know what I want and I don't wanna be funny. Gotta make that money, make you shake. Bring that filler cause I got a milk quake. Oh. And I've been out of pain, cause I want that money. Damn it, ain't the same, cause I make money, money, make money, money, make money. Okay, I have no idea where that came from. I seriously apologize for a random rap known as Make Money, Money, Make Money, Money, Make Money. You can get off of iTunes now for 199 bajillion P! You can probably tell that I was faking the entire experience. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get everything put together. Here we go, we've got a lot of pogo zombies this time, man. But look, kaboom! Powie! Oh yeah. Now that is how it's done. Oh, we got a good system going. You can't say this is a bad system. Obviously, I've seen better systems, don't get me wrong, but it's a system. I like my systems. And my systems will work, goddammit. Obviously now I think the potato mines are completely and utterly not needed. But heck, they might still be useful. 
Never put down a good potato, mate. Rule number one. <laughs> I might actually see if I can put walnuts one one step further. Because it just seems as if we're taking down all these zombies much faster than I thought we were. I'm not complaining. We're obviously doing something right. Oh no. I could be mistaken. Oh no, they still jump over. But you see there? Perfect product placement. Or well, so I say perfect potato placement. And now we've just got two cone heads. Oh god. We've got more of them. Uh oh, he's gonna jump over. Oh, no, you're not. The only problems with the potato mines is that, yes, they don't cost that much. But. Damn, they take ages to friggin' recharge. So you can put down another one. It takes ages. It's the only bad point of a potato mine. They're very effective if you give them the time. God damn. It's just trouble. Six times out of ten. Not nine times out of ten, because it ain't that bad. Come on, my delicious peas. Kill the zombie hordes with your mighty vegetarian option. Ooh, no, oh, he didn't spadow. Ah, oh, I was saved. Winning. Okay, I think this might bring on the final wave. A huge wave of zombies is approaching! Mega Man, Mega Man, zombies are approaching the castle! Oh my god! Ugh. Oh my god, it's Dr. Wily! Now, what are you doing, you Wily bastard? Hey, Mega Man, <laughs> I'm going to destroy you with my robots! <laughs> no, you're not, Dr. Wily. You suck! Damn you, Mega Man, you beat me again! Just by saying that I suck. Because you know it's true. Hey, I'll get you next time in Mega Man 976. When I have another wacky variety of robots, which is clearly a sign of me running out of ideas. Ugh, Mega Man. I do apologize, but that just randomly came out of nowhere. <coughs> <coughs> Gotta love the Mega Man moments. And if you can't tell already, massive fan of Mega Man. So here we go. We now got a brand new plant. The Chomba. And I'm a fantastic plant. This is what I'm now going to be using to replace potato mines. It devours a zombie hole, but is vulnerable while chewing. Here we go. And now we're introduced to Buckethead zombies. Bucketheads. Bucketheads are trippy. And now we actually get to choose what plants we use. So we're going to go with our standard... A standard system, this time with the chompers. Just to show you guys how good the chompers are in comparison to the potato mines. Now, my personal opinion, potato mines have their own roles. Like, potato mines are very good for early stages, where you'd want to mainly concentrate on sun gathering with your sunflowers. And you mainly want to get these guys out before you get out your, like, pea shooters and stuff. But, of course, the downside to potato mines is the time it takes for them to recharge. <coughs> oh, I do apologise for this cough. But yes, I believe chompers actually re recharge faster. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. And if you do know whether they recharge faster or not, then go ahead, because it's generally been ages since I've played Plants vs. Zombies, so... It's another reason why it's perfect for me to let's play it now rather than earlier. Because earlier I was just like, oh my god, I'm so ace of this. I know everything about every zombie ever created. Oh my god. But now I'm just like, eh, zombie? Yeah. Back to basics. Why not? Sun gathering. Look, there's the first cone head. First cone hair. <laughs> I don't know why I stopped in mid sentence there. I was just like, cone hair. <laughs> 